But you Could know, be. it's interesting, Chris, you're talking about, you know, recruit 30,000 uh, more soldiers just like that. I believe it's very, very hard these days to recruit soldiers because the generation which is somewhat more woke um, ain't for an army life. Well, they, they do these war games, don't they? So maybe they want to do the real thing. <laughs> <laughs> they do the war on the computers. Look, look, yeah, I mean, it's a very serious point that you make there, Eamon. Um, I don't know. And like anything else, what, what are they doing? I, I know that the, that um, employment levels are the best that they've ever been. Yeah. Pe- people are not rushing for the work that's already out there. So, like, in, again, in my day in the 70s, the army was a great place to go because you got, you got paid to go to work. You didn't really think that you were going to put boots on the ground. But once you're in, I nearly went to the Falklands. And once you're in, you've had a base of training, you will go and quite happily fight for your country. So all those people who you think wouldn't fight for the country, if they get in under the trade and travel the world and see lovely people, once you've got the base of training, your mind is ready and you just go. Okay.